defensive lineman Edward Vesterinen. Questions for Eddie? So, Eddie, um, defensively, you guys getting a lot of rave reviews for how you played in recent weeks. So, you lived up to your standards? Do you think you have more in you? What, what do you What do you think? I think personally, I think I definitely have more in me. And as a whole defense, uh, we got to start faster. And I think we haven't played our best defense yet. So you say you have more left in you. What, what more is left? What can you do better individually and in as a group? I think it's uh, mental, mental mistakes. And uh, just uh, when I get tired, just uh, finishing, finishing my uh, rip moves. I mean, it's, it's, uh, there's a lot to you can correct after a game when you look at the tape. There's a lot to you, you can correct, so I'm trying to correct those things. Correcting from tape. Did you watch much tape before college, and is that something you sort of had to adjust to, seeing yourself and learning how to correct those mistakes? Yeah, it was a big change. Tape, yeah. Back home, I didn't really watch tape. <laughs> I was when I played, but here you definitely have to have a good feel about where what kind of game you're stepping into and know what kind of guys you're going against. And now as a starter, like it's very important for me to understand what are the old linemen's weakness per like each individually and maybe trying to game plan on on the each individual O lineman. When you say start faster, what do you mean start faster on defense? I think as a defense, um I mean let's go back to the pit game. Uh Pitt their first offensive drive, they started kind of rolling, but it was because of missed tackles. If we had made those tackles, Pitt wouldn't have had their good like first drive. I think Texas Tech also they had a first drive going like, but it, it just comes comes back to like fundamentals, like good fundamental football. And I think as a defense, we're 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 waiting for somebody to make that big play, and then then we start to play like good defense. I think we just gotta start better, faster. In the beginning. When you watch an offensive lineman in, in, that you're going to go against, and again, watching on film, what, what are keys? I mean, weight, which way they lean, hand placement when they block, what, what are some of the things you look for? I look, I look what, he's, what is the all lineman good at, mm -hmm. what, what does he struggle in, and then I'm trying to see what, how, do, how does the all line work as a whole unit. And I'm trying to see what kind of tips can I get. Okay, he's he's lining up pretty far from the center, like his depth. He might be pulling on this one. When does he put his hand down? Hand down? Does he always have his hand down, or when does he put his hand, like keep his hands on the thighs? And just trying to look some old linemen. They look at the they look at their the guy who they're gonna block before the play even starts. When they come from the the huddle, they look at the guy. So. There's a lot of small things you can pick up, and at the end of the day, it's just about the feel and instinct on a game. Watch Houston offensively. What are some of the things that jump out when you study them and prepare for them? I think the O line is solid. I mean, you you have, always have to every O line you have to you 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 can never underestimate any opponent. And I think the left tackle is decent. The, the center, he's a great ga grabber. He can hold on to you really good if you if he if you let him latch on to you. I think um, the QB is a big guy. You gotta tackle him big. He, I think he's six five, two forty. Um, I think they run uh, they run a lot of zone zone plays and they're very pass heavy. I think it's about sixty three percent pass. And um, I think uh, they're a solid group. You know you can't underestimate them. It's going to be hot, uh, not as much tempo as we have played before, like TCU and Texas Tech. Um, they play this counterplay, QB counterplay, which, which we have to stop. I mean, that's about it. So it's some hand fighting with the center to keep him off of you, right? Yeah, hand fighting or maybe trying to try not to engage with him, trying to like evade him, maybe. Sorry? Can they see your games at home? On at home, yes, uh, they can, yeah. They can see uh, on like using VPNs. What, uh, what kind of ratings do you think you're getting? <laughs> ratings? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure about that. I'm not good. <laughs> um, do you hear from people? I mean, uh, 
you have to see you have to see you playing. Uh, I hear from people when it's not a night game. If if it's uh, noon, maybe 3 p.m. kickoff, then people back home might watch the game. But I know my dad and my mom, they definitely watch every game. And if the 7 o'clock game, what time is it back home? It's 2, 3 a.m., so rarely I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a rough season then, a lot of night games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good for me. It's, I like it. Eddie, um, this, this wasn't you, but the TCU defensive lineman got called for those two holding penalties. I don't know if that ever came up in, in film or teaching or whatever, but mm -hmm. it's, it's an unusual call for a defensive lineman to get called for holding. Yeah, I know. We've been we talked about it last season, and uh, we we know as a D line unit, uh, uh, I think it was a nose guard holding on to the center, not letting him go up to the linebackers. Yeah, uh, it's uh, you gotta you gotta play it different. You gotta run your feet. You can't you can't just, just like hold him right like this. You gotta like you gotta run your feet at the same time, not let him go as far. You can you gotta hold on to him like right here. It's just, uh, it's just those things. I think we already learned as a unit from last season to not to grab like this. I understand you were being complimentary of their center by saying that he, he can grab and everything. And there's there's a way you could hold, right, without holding and getting a penalty too. Um, how, how do you do it, push the envelope and, and not get in trouble, not get flags, but also do what you have to do where you can get away with it, whether it's a defensive lineman or an offensive lineman? I mean, it's a thin line, definitely. It's a... I mean, in the in the box, referees rarely see holding calls. It's usually if you're about to make the play, and then the O lineman holds you. That's usually the holding call to get. But usually they don't see if you're on the backside of the play. They don't call holdings. It's uh, you just gotta as a D lineman, holding is not an excuse. Like you cannot let the O lineman hold you. It's it's not it's not an excuse. And uh, I mean, as as a D lineman, if we hold them, I mean, it's, you gotta be subtle. You can't give it out. Can you be dramatic and draw a flag, act it up a little bit, make sure they actually they see that you're being held, and even if you're on the backside of the play. I mean, I don't think it's backside, but if you're really like on like making a play, yeah. I mean, it's I don't like filming a lot, but uh, so I think I've, I've had one one time in my career a referee saw me getting held while I was trying to get a tackle. That was one time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it can work. I mean. <laughs> You've had one holding penalty against you? I think, yeah, it was my, uh, like, I think it was last season maybe, yeah. Holding against penalty, yeah. Some of the young guys that are stepping up for you in the D line, uh, Tome, uh, Patorma, some of those guys, they surprised you at all? It's how, you know, quickly they're starting to become big factors for you? I mean, they haven't surprised me because I, I've been practicing with them and I've seen how they practice. I think Tommy, he has a lot of potential. I like how he plays. He he just goes, you know. He doesn't, he doesn't think. He just goes forward. And Big Fatorma, he's uh, he's strong and he he's able to make the plays as a nose guard coming out from that center. He's uh, I like I like both of them. They have a lot of potential. Good good addition to our group. Some of the other even younger guys, guys that are probably going to redshirt this year, the true freshmen. What do you see out of Corey McIntyre and Zay Keith and all those guys? I see a lot of, a lot of passion for the game and wanting to learn. But they have to fix their techniques. Don't like it's important as a D lineman to have your right footwork so you don't get pancaked. <laughs> but it's, uh, they have a lot of will and passion, and I think it's it's going to be very, very good for them the future young lineman what, what's the hardest thing is it the physical part of it the technique mental what, what's the hardest thing to adjust to hardest thing to adjust to is uh, I think it's the, all the information you get that you have to memorize but also you have to know you also have to know everything in when it goes really fast it's, it's, uh, it's that you are, everything has to add up when bullets are flying that's the thing it's you gotta play fast without thinking, but at the same time remember everything. So it's uh, a combination of both. So. Eddie, it, it, from watching, it seems like you and Mike Lockhart really kind of set the tone effort-wise on the defensive line. I mean, Mike's had a couple of plays where he's you know five, ten yards downfield making a tackle. You had seven tackles against Tech as an interior lineman. Is that fair to you and Mike to kind of set the, the tone there? I mean, somebody has to set the tone. It's uh, you gotta it's the standard. You gotta uplift. You gotta show the standard to, to the whole D line, and 
and it's just uh, if you see one guy making plays, it's gonna motivate the other guy to make plays. It's it's some that's very uh, once 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 someone starts making plays, it's very catchable. Like everyone everyone builds off of it. Defensive lineman now, like rows of three that come in. Do you sense after you you sit out and come in a couple of times that that has taken a toll on the offensive line and they're not as fresh or as strong? Their their offensive line. I think it's a huge benefit that we can roll guys in and they can play, and then I can come back and like the I'm going against the same old line. They're they're really tired and I'm fresh, and it gives me a great advantage, especially like third downs, passing down. It gives a great advantage to the whole RD line to be able to be play fresh. Thank you.